Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk to you about my keyboard, which is the Durgod Taurus K320TKL, which is a hell of a mouthful. And the reason I'm bringing you this video is because I purchased this keyboard myself, or actually technically my fiance purchased it for me uh, at Christmas time 2020. So just a little over four months ago, she purchased it for me as a Christmas present uh, after I picked it out online. Uh, and up until now, I've really enjoyed using it despite not having the best unboxing experience, which I'll get into shortly. Uh, and now after just over four months, uh, the keyboard is damaged as one of the keycaps, the I key, has actually broken. Uh, and I've attempted to get in touch with Durgod, and it's been over 48 hours since I initially emailed them, as well as did a follow-up, and I tagged them over on Twitter with the issue I was having. And so far, I have gotten a big, fat goose egg in terms of a response from Durgod, despite this keyboard definitely being within the one-year warranty since it was purchased last December. So let's talk about the issue and maybe, you know, how they could, how this could be resolved with, you know, better quality keycaps, materials, and things like that. Just give you my overall uh, impressions of the keyboard and some issues that I had with it and why I wouldn't recommend really anyone go out and buy this keyboard, especially after their complete lack of customer service. Did you just finish building a sweet gaming rig only to have this happen to you? Not to worry because your CD key has you covered with Windows 10 Pro licenses for under $18. And if you head over there right now, you could save 20% off with my code JPD20 at checkout. You receive your key within seconds and then just click the start button and type activate to find the Windows activation screen. And all you gotta do then is paste your code in. For more info as well as that coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. So first I wanna start off talking about when I got the keyboard. I got the keyboard on Christmas morning, 2020, as I said, just over four months ago. Uh, and immediately the unboxing experience uh, was did not really set the stage for a good quality product because I would say about maybe 10 or so keycaps had actually come loose in the box and were rolling around in the box all over the place. And the main reason for this was that the keycaps, well, not all of the keycaps, but some of them are extremely loose. I mean, if you look at this right arrow key, I can literally pull it off with absolute, with almost zero effort whatsoever. Like it just slides right off. And this is one of the issues that happen, was happening with the I key as well. Um, if you look at this other arrow key, if I try to pull up on that, it's definitely a little harder to uh, get off. I was messing around with it earlier, so that's maybe why it's even coming off. But like the up key, very hard to get off. Um, I would really have to use something like a keycap puller uh, if I wanted to get off the, the up key or most of the other keys on the keyboard. This is a, it's Cherry MX brown switches uh, on this keyboard. They come in quite a few varieties. And, you know, that was one of the reasons I kind of picked it as well as I like the retro aesthetic, the white and gray, which matches my Logitech G305 wireless. So I really love the aesthetic of it. That's why I picked it out. Um, and you know, I was, I was, I was over, I would overlook the issue of the keycaps being a little bit loose as long as they were on the keyboard. Cause up until now it really hasn't bothered me once they're all in place, they pretty much stay there. Um, but what happened with the I keycap is as this was one of the loose ones, it became loose while I was typing, uh, and it was rocking back and forth. And then on closer inspection after removing it, uh, I noticed that the inside where it's a double shot, it's a double shot PBT keycap, which essentially means is that it is two separate pieces. So you actually have the key, the keycap housing, and then the part which attaches to the Cherry MX stem is a separate piece. So these ones just happen to be a very cheap, shitty quality, honestly, um, which is probably why there's so much inconsistency with them fitting onto, you know, standard Cherry MX switches. Um, really, this should not be an issue. I've never seen this on a keyboard before where the keycaps were so loose on some of them and some others. So just a lot of inconsistency in terms of Durgod's manufacturing or what are likely just, you know, OEM source keycaps from some other company uh, in China that just makes these things by the millions, uh, which is probably what is happening here. So inconsistent and uh, yeah, just over four months later and the keycap is now broken. So yeah, these things happen, right? You know, sometimes products, maybe I got maybe I got a bad batch, maybe just bad luck on my part. Maybe I typed too hard. I don't really think that's the case. Um, it was, like I said, it, it really got damaged because it was loose and it was rocking back and forth. So when I typed on it, it essentially snapped the cheap, shitty plastic um, that attaches to the Cherry MX stem. So obviously my, you know, I, I, I reached out to Durgod. I emailed their customer service as well as their tech support uh, emails. I, I put them both in the same email, sent them a picture of the broken keycap, sent them a f uh, about a 50 second video that I uploaded to Dropbox. I sent them a link to that. 
um, and I have gotten absolutely zero response from them. Uh, I did a follow-up email the next day to see if there's anything they could do to help me out. No response from them. Tagged them over on Twitter with where I have like close to 30,000 followers, so there's no way that they didn't see it, um, and nothing. Absolutely no response whatsoever uh, from Durgat. So to say that I'm displeased with the quality of their product as well as their customer service would be an understatement. It is absolutely abysmal. Their customer service is non-existent. Uh, the keyboard, like I said, it set uh, sort of a bad precedent, uh, sort of a bad first impression when I got the keyboard and the keycaps were rolling around in the fucking box. Um, they're still loose to this day. And now after just four months, a key has broken something I've, I, I've, I've never seen a keycap break in my life, like literally in my entire life. So currently I'm using just another keycap, which comes off of a Cherry keyboard, a keyboard actually made by Cherry, uh, which is pretty close to this. Although uh, it, I believe that one's a Cherry keycap and this one is an OEM keycap. So the OEMs are a little bit taller. So it's not a big issue when I'm typing on it. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm little, if, you know, if Durgod never gets back to me after me making this video, um, the only, my only options are to replace the entire keycap set or to get a new keyboard entirely. And to be honest, I really don't want to do that because I love the way this keyboard looks and I know I can get a keycap set that's going to be pretty close, if not identical to this one. But honestly, why should I have to go out and spend 30 or $40 after the keyboard already cost a hundred bucks on Amazon? Um, it has great reviews on Amazon, although a lot of those are short-term reviews, like the people get the keyboard and, oh, it's great, it's Cherry Switches, it's, I like it, it's, it looks cool, all that stuff. But if you go through the nearly 2,000 ratings and four and a half stars on Amazon, you will see some people who have gone back to update their reviews long-term, people that had to replace their keyboards just six months after getting them because they broke or they were having issues uh, with, with, with software and stuff like that and getting them to work uh, because I, apparently the firmware or something for this keyboard is is still in beta even though it's been out for quite some time. That was I was reading that over on Tech Power Up. So yeah, really they should just, I, I think at the end of the day, they need to you know address their consistency in terms of the products they're releasing or source them from a better keycap manufacturer if they're not making themselves, which they're very likely not. Uh, they're probably OEM keycaps that they bought from a wholesaler. Um, so they need to sort that their consistency out with that. Um, and then also their customer service should be a hell of a lot better and maybe not use double shot PBT keycaps, which really aren't that necessary, especially on a keyboard that has absolutely zero backlighting because the double shot PBT usually gives you, uh, you can kind of see better illumination, but you, they could have just used a, a die sub or die sublimation keycaps. Um, and this issue probably would have been resolved even, and those keycaps, uh, die sub keycaps are actually generally cheaper, um, to manufacture because just of the cost of the materials and how, how the, the legends are printed on the keycaps and stuff. And they're generally seen, uh, as a cheaper product because the, um, the, it, it could, sometimes the, the legends on them won't be as sharp or as crisp as say on a double shot PBT keycap, um, because they're usually painted on or something like that. So yeah, there's like, there's pros and cons to getting a die sub keycap versus double shot PBT and double shot PBTs are generally accepted and used by, you know, a large number of people, especially in the mechanical keyboard community, which has been exploding uh, over the past few years. And I'm definitely not the, the smartest person when it comes to all of that stuff. Um, I've kind of had to get caught up over the past few days uh, as I've been looking at keycaps and watching videos and stuff like that um, on keyboard. So yeah, it's just disappointing, honestly, at the end of the day, dear God, I'm I'm a little bit mad, but I'm more so disappointed in your lack of customer service. I have a one-year warranty. It's just over four months, maybe five months given the purchase date, um, but only four months of actual use. So please reach out to me. I've already emailed you guys twice to your customer service and tech support. Fix the issue. That's all. Just fix the issue, replace the keyboard, or even just send me an eye keycap. Just send me the same exact letter I keycap, a new set of keycaps, whatever. It could be literally the one keycap and I'll, I'll be happy if you at least get back to me and, and do that. I'm sorry that I had to make this video and basically put you on blast in front of over 100,000 people because you make a shitty product and then you don't even stand behind it and interact with your customer base. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. I hope you guys have a great day. Look forward to interacting with you and uh, hearing your guys' responses down in the comments. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.